contract extension, seven years. It runs through 2022. Speaking of college coaching news, Rutgers is finalizing a coaching agreement with Ohio State co-defensive coordinator Chris Ash. The Scarlet Knights defense was ranked at the bottom of the Big Ten this past season. Scores from earlier, Alabama wins the SEC title game in Atlanta, 29-15 win over Florida, so they have locked up their slot in the college football playoff. Other championship games, the American goes to Houston. They get a 24-13 win over Temple. The Cougars should make a New Year's Six Bowl game, being the highest-ranked champion from a Power Five conference. Texas, they beat Baylor 23-17. NBA, the Warriors 21-0 now after they got by the Raptors in Toronto 112-109. Steph Curry scored 44 points. For the full scoreboard, head to NBCSportsRadio.com. Baseball, Jeff Samarja agrees to a five-year, $90 million deal with the San Francisco Giants. I'm Scott Seidenberg, NBC Sports Radio. This is KCAA. BuySellMakeOffer.com is our New Year's gift to you. Circle this date, Friday, January 15th. You're invited to start the new year off right with a subscription to BuySellMakeOffer.com. Some other selling sites can be sketchy, and even others will charge you a fee on every item you list. But with BuySellMakeOffer.com, you can sell your washer, dryer, cars, or even your home with no per item fees. And you can use Skype, make a video, you can actually see the person you're buying from, or they can see you, all to better sell your product. Wouldn't you like a feeling of security when you buy or sell? That's why we call it BuySellMakeOffer.com. And you don't have to wait until January 15th to find out what the buzz is all about. Go right now to BuySellMakeOffer.com and type in your email address so you'll know exactly when the fun will begin. The first 30 days are on us. And then it's as little as $7.95 per month to sell up to 50 items. Join the revolution in online selling with BuySellMakeOffer.com. And now it's time for another Support San Bernardino Spotlight. Hi, my name is George Hahn. I am the Senior Minister at the Center for Spiritual Living Inland Empire. In the next few weeks, we would like to support San Bernardino by highlighting the outstanding things about our city. Today's program features Dennis Baxter from Habitat for Humanity. Thank you, George. I'm very proud that Habitat for Humanity San Bernardino area has been serving the residents of the area since 1992. So that's 24 years of building homes and building homes. Each partner family participates in our own uh, curriculum in the greater San Bernardino area that provides guidance and resources to a successful long-term experience as being a homeowner. We have financial literacy classes that they go through so they understand the difference between being a homeowner and being a renter. Our Brush with Kindness program helps out uh, low-income folks with, you know, simple chores around the house. And, of course, our ReStore, uh, located in Redlands, is a real part of our fundraising effort. So it's building homes. It's building hope. Folks can give us a call at 909-478-1176 or habitatsb.org. This program was underwritten by Center for Spiritual Living Inland Empire. If you would like information about today's program, please contact me, Reverend George, by calling 909-883-7171. That's 909-883-7171. KCAA, where every day is a great day. KCAA, Loma Linda. Good evening, people of faith. Thank you for tuning in to Switch Reels Gospel Hour. I am your host, Elisa. We are a diversified show that brings you not only God's Word, but the gospel music that will relax your body and mind. Also, we have guests that will give you something to remember.
I pray we'll find your love. Pray we'll find your love. And hold it in our hearts. And hold it in our hearts. When stars go out each night. Stars go out each night. Remind us where you are. Remind us where you are. Let this be our When shadows fill our day, when shadows fill our day, oh Lord, lead us to a place of mind. Guide us with your grace. Guide us with your grace. Give, Give us faith so we. Good evening, Gospel World. You have reached Switch Switch Reels Gospel Hour, and I am your host, Elisa. And we have a fantastic show for you today. We have Jerry Green from the Black Business Expo, and <laughs> he's sitting over in, in the uh, out of the way of the camera. Um, from the Black Business Expo, who's going to bring a lot of good news to us today in reference to what they're doing. And they have some career days that um, are established, the first one being December the 7th. So again, um, sit tight, and we'll be right back. Blessed be your name. 
Wake up business owners, nonprofits, and professionals. You already know that no one goes anywhere without their mobile device. So why isn't your business with them? Get a mobile app for your business from appsfor50.com. There's no setup fees or long-term commitment, and it includes a host of features your business can definitely benefit from, all for one low monthly cost. Let's face it, everyone's mobile. Sign up today and we'll promote your business to 10,000 new local customers for free. Go to appsfor50.com. That's appsfor 50com Now, more with your host, Elisa, on KCAA with Switch Reels Gospel Hour. Glad to have you along. Hello, Gospel World. We're back. Switch Reels Gospel Hour, KCAARadio.com. You can um, listen in. Um toll-free number for calling in, excuse me, 1-888-909-1050. And to listen in, it's 909-832-1050. Okay, today we have uh, Jerry Green in the uh, studio. How you doing, Jerry? All right, how you doing tonight? I'm good. Wow, that came in loud and clear. Um, but before we get started, we wanted to um, to say a prayer for the uh, San Bernardino massacre, and um, pray that the families are comforted. Um, can we say a prayer? Sure. Fast. Father God, we come to you today in mercy, just asking to give comfort to the families that have had their families killed. And uh, Father God, we, we want to thank you for all of the people that um, were saved. And we want you, Father God, to put on our hearts to love our neighbors as you have loved us. We ask this in in Jesus' name, amen. And today I wanted to share uh, Psalms 91, um, five through seven. And then we're gonna gonna listen to all the good news that Jerry has has to offer. I think that, um, well, this is Psalms 91, 5 through 7, and 9 through 16. You should not be afraid of the terror by night, 91, 5, 91, 6, nor of the peasants that walk in the darkness, nor of the destruction that lies waste at noontime, 91, 7. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Ninety-one, nine. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. Psalms ninety-one, ten. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Ninety-one, eleven. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. 91, 12. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. 91, 13. You shall tread upon the lions and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Psalms 91.14 Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I shall deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. 91.15 He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life... I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. 
Amen. Yeah. And um, these are the instructions of the Lord as to um, as to what we are are to do. Um, I also wanted to read Mark three twenty seven. And then you can ponder on uh, Psalms 91 that I just read and uh, kind of collaborate it with Mark 3, 7. Specifically, I tell you, no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first bind the strong man, and then he will plunder his house. So I put a little note to that, um, just giving some clarity on understanding. Our faith is our force. It is the spirit to activate victory over evil. God has already given us victory, and it's up to us to simply speak victory into our lives. Amen. Amen. So... With, um, with all that being said, faith, victory, and salvation is a good page to be on when you're living in, your, in the spiritual and fleshly world. Um, just keep in mind that we all have spirits within us, and those spirits... Our individual spirits cause intercession between us and God. And without God's protection, then you're just kind of out there and anything can take place. But with God's protection, that's acknowledging that there is a God. Um, then you have the protection because even if you die, yet you still live. So um, I'm going to continue this next Saturday when uh, Pastor Hagen is here. And, um, you know, I hope that everybody has the time to listen on Saturday because we're going to get into it heavily. In the meantime, we're going to talk about some good news that Jerry has for December the 8th. What's going on December the 8th? December 8th from Reno Valley, we're doing a diversity public safety job fair. And with that, with all the things we see going on before what happened here and the tragedy here in San Bernardino, we saw a small percentage of officers, you know, again, very small percentage that was doing wrong many times to people of color. And so with the Diversity Public Safety Job Fair, what we do is we try to get more people of color in law enforcement. Mm -hmm. No longer can we just stand on the outside and say, hey, you know, we want to see changes. We have to be the change we want to see. So on the 8th in Moreno Valley, from 10 to 2, we're doing a public safety job fair. And we have commitments from three agencies right now, which is Sacramento PD, San Jose PD, and San Diego uh, Sheriff's Department. You yeah. know, and what's going on right now is all the departments uh, are looking to recruit. You know, the city of San Bernardino, San, San Bernardino um, County Sheriff, Riverside PD and Sheriff, all are looking for good qualified candidates. And again, I'm always want to be on the um, to engage and to make change. So I said, how can I make a change versus just talking about it? Let's mm -hmm. be about it. So to uh, create an opportunity for individuals to come out, talk to recruiters, see what the process is to start a career in law enforcement. It's still one of the best careers and pension programs that you have out. And again, we had a chance to see the other side of what happened on Wednesday with the heroes who actually ran into the building to save lives, who actually uh, was there and, again, had to do things and stay in a professional manner 
to go ahead to save lives and to help the wounded and things like that. So again, just um, just an opportunity, and I want to go ahead and say much respect to all the first responders who had to run into the building and things like that. Myself and my personal training, I'm an Air Force uh, veteran. I was a medic for seven years uh, with the Air Force, so I understand being a first responder, being the first one on scene for accidents that I see here just driving up and down the highway here in Southern California. But to know that there are people that are armed and that are already done some um, bad things to individuals and for them to put their lives on the line, much respect goes out to them. And yes. now is the ideal time because of departments just need help. You know, a lot of departments, you know, I talked to on the phone, you know, yesterday I just talked to L.A. Sheriff. They're not able to make this event, but they are committed because also what I do with my business is Black Business Expos and the Southern California Black Business Expo on tour. So L.A. Sheriff already committed to be at all 12 expos um, next year. Oh, well, that's good. And now um, for December the 8th, right? Yes. Um, and what time is that? From 10 to 2 at the Holiday Inn Express on Sunny Meat Boulevard. You know, if for more information, they can go to my website at scbbe.com, which stands for Southern California Black Business Expo, and click the, um, the Job Fair tab. And that will give all the information and things like that. You know, so again... Every department needs individuals, good candidates. And the whole thing is the police force and law enforcement agencies should represent the community. Mm -hmm. So if you having 17%, say, African Americans or in the black community, then that's what the police force should reflect. Mm -hmm. So with that, so now, and my thought pattern was when I um, was thinking about doing the public safety job fair, is because now if I get out my car and I look at you, it's some things already we have in common. Mm -hmm. So first thing shouldn't be for me to draw down on you. It should be for me to talk to you. You know, so uh, that was the first thought. And then as I continue to uh, move down the street with the um, job fairs, just more and more things just continue just to evolve. So, Well, yeah. well Jerry, we have a call that we're going to take. Um, hi, caller. Oh, hello. Um, I'm not too... Actually, I, I only just caught the tail end of that, but it was about uh, African-Americans. Is this a, uh, I'm calling from England, and I like to uh, I like to sort of call up radio stations to sort of get, like, chip in, maybe, from my sort of English oh. perspective. Well, hello, England. Who are we speaking with? Uh, my name is uh, David Diamond. Hi, David Diamond. Um, yeah, I'm 30 years old. Uh, hiya. Um, I'm, I'm so Elisa. Is this, is, this, this isn't a, uh, is this a religious show, is it, or is it... It's a gospel show. Sorry, sorry. It's a gospel show. We play music. We well, have guests. We have interesting subjects. We talk about the Word of God. Oh, well, that is yeah. interesting. I love the Word of God. Oh, I also well. love the way that in your in America, it, it is deemed acceptable to say like "bless you" or or, or, um, or I'll, I'll say a prayer for you or something like that to to a friend or something. Because in, in England, it, it just you would get funny looks if you did that, even though we're a Christian <laughs> country. You, you, that, that, that never happens, ever. Oh, well, we're glad you're tuning in with us tonight. We have in studio yeah. tonight uh, Jerry Green, and he's from the Black Business Expo. And what they're doing Ooh. is offering uh, job opportunities to uh, African-American individuals, but not only African-American, because his, his Black Business ex Expo is for everybody, but the focus is... Uh, African American because of the the lack of um, percentage. I think he was saying correct. Basically, right now in this country, yeah. the in the black community, we spend consumer dollars one point one trillion, but only two to three percent actually are recycled black, back into other black business, businesses. So what I do with my publication and also with my expos. I increase the sales from black business to black business and also from black business to from black consumers to black businesses. So increasing the sales because one thing we know with all the history here in America is as the black community evolves, so does the rest of the country. So Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. So what happens is well, is that wouldn't you say though that business really is transcends race and religion, wouldn't it? I mean if if you can make a profit and where there's demand 
you know, a white guy will sell to a black guy just as easy. And isn't it a little bit propagating the 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 the, the hate? You know, I know I know I know the whites have done bad to the blacks, but at some point, you know, you gotta say sorry and sort of shake hands over it, even if even if you are massively like um out of out of sort of pace with it. I mean I uh I did sort of, I, 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 I wouldn't normally cry at a picture, but I, when I saw a few of those pictures of people being lynched and stuff, I, I did sort of cry because, like, I just sort of, like, l- lynching was a topic on Wikipedia. It was actually, gr- never look it up, by the way, it's horrible. But um, basically, you know, um, I can understand the sort of wanting to, to sort of do that, but uh, isn't it like I live near a school and I see, you know, little black Asian girls whatever running past each other like it's nothing and I, I can guarantee you that this stuff people won't even know black or white in the future or transgender or or sex change or gay or whatever they won't even know they'll just grow up in schools with so many of these people around and so it's like a virus you know like ebola once once you eradicate these the sources of the infection then it, it no longer that not only does it not spread anymore but it also um eradicates itself I, I think, I firmly believe that in 20 years' time or 30 years' time in a generation, this, this will, you, you're, what you're doing here will, will hopefully be obsolete, but also perhaps in, in your mind and maybe a little bit in my mind and in all of our minds, it's, it's still there, it lives in our minds. But these young, young people, just I mean, they're born in 2015, they're not going to know racism, they're not going to know it, are they? And they're not going to know... No one's going to know it. It's just going to be business. Isn't I'm it? sorry. Can you give me your first name again? David. 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 Also, can I ask you a question? Would you find this offensive? Because I um, do you remember we had that lady the other day with like um the black makeup on her face, or she was like white but she was black, and then I heard this this N C A P. Now they 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 issued some sort of statement that said anyone who wants to identify them with themselves as being black, they they could do so. So what I thought to myself was, I actually have got a little bit of Afro-black heritage in you know, my dad's um, um, part, part Iraqi, in that you know that's sort of right next to the sort of Egypt type, so Egypt sort of blackness sort of thing. Would I be if I went to one of those meetings in America or something? Say I did. Would would I be? Would that be like? Uh, insulting to the black community, or would I be just? Be oh no, you would be. Adopted? You would be well accepted. You, you know, yeah. no, you will be well accepted. And what I do is for me to try to increase sales from black business to black business or black uh, business to more black consumers. It's not racism. Many times, it's, it's self- not racism, but no. it's, it's definitely something. It's it's, what, uh, it's a bias, isn't it? It's a the conflict of interest. What if the what if the black seller it hasn't got the best goods for your for your community? What if well, what if they're well, not well, representing well, well, value that, for your well, business? Well, with that, that doesn't give a free pass. Again, no, we're talking uh, quality products. We're talking quality service, great customer service, great follow up. You know, so it's not saying that they're going to be inferior products. No, it has to be a a quality check. I mean, I I can see where you're coming from, but I I do struggle with that because, really, if you're against racism, then you, your own self, should be be saying, look, I don't mind black or white. If you care, black or white, but it doesn't bother me, black or white, you know. Just like, you know, yeah, you you should, you know, you take the higher ground a little bit, but... um, there's well, a need well, well, for this, but, then. Our, our, but black, no, understand. our black businesses da- da- really being boycotted by, by larger businesses, are they? David, understand, at no point, you know, when you support another black business, many times it's black pride, it's black ownership. So it's not racism. And what happens is, is that right now is now we really in America, you have blacks who really are trying to identify their heritage. So this is also part of what's going on now, is to identify... I and did, I, is it though? Because remember what I just said, it's extinct, all this. We've got a black president, Sim will have a gay president, woman president. It's extinct. Well, it's David, only being kept David, alive let, me in just, our let me just interject. David, so David, you're... You're on the wrong page. Let me help you to get on the same page where we are. I thought in business, wait a minute, let me say. Grief. In business, 
you have here in America the Asian Association, the Black Business Association, you have the Korean Association, you have all of the, the various chambers. Everybody is right there for whatever mixer is there, as black, as white, as Asian, as Hispanic. Now, all we're simply saying today is that we are providing, uh, Jerry Green is, he put his hard earned work into structuring this uh, career day, not only for uh, black people, but for all people. But his personal goal is to help the black community to grow. And um, I'm not sure if you've ever been here in the States, but in a lot of categories, um, there's room for growth for the African-American community. And it ha doesn't have anything to do with Asian, black, white, Hispanic. It's just like the Hispanics, they have their groups. Just like the Caucasians, they have their groups. Just like India, people from India, they have their groups. People from Africa, which is still black. I, I, they well, have their groups. maybe, maybe, maybe that might be the point, but and I'm sure that it is. But what you're saying, like the words, you, the way you're expressing it, 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 it is, you know, the, the very word "black" and "black business" is black on black, and that is is definitely strongly indicating a, a preference business-wise. I mean, that's what you're saying, well, and, and David, that's why I'm asking you to, David, let to me, clarify it because I'm sure. Okay. That, well, let me enlighten you on the name of well, 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 the name of his business is. Black, so, the Black Business Expo. Right, Southern California Black Business Expo. So actually, okay, so understand this, David. Here in the United States, you can go to areas where it's supported by certain ethnic groups. You can go into parts of uh, Orange County where they call Lotus Saigon, where you can't read the signs because they support each other. You can go to other areas where they speak their own language, native language, and they support each other. So that's the same concept I'm working with. So it's not a hatred, it's actually a love, because when you can know yourself and love yourself, you can love others. But when you don't know yourself, then that's when fear and other thing, everything else comes in, and that's when hatred comes because you don't know anyone else. But if I love myself, I can love everyone else. So it's not coming from a place of hate. It's coming from a place of self-knowledge and knowing myself. So now I can love everyone else. And if you were yeah, here, that's, David, that's beautiful, if, that's beautiful, but, David, um, if you were I, here I December the 8th, David, if you were here December the 8th, you too can participate in the career day. Well, I mean, in fact, the opposite. I'm completely neutral. I've got no effect on this whatsoever. But, he, you know, you're there in the real world in in a, in, a, in, a, in a difficult environment where obviously there is a, a disadvantage if, if you even need to be saying this type of thing, if you even need to be looking out for black businesses. I mean, I just, I just call them businesses. It doesn't really bother me whether it's black or white. But obviously there is some sort of initiative there because obviously there is some sort of problem. But the way you've explained it there just doesn't, doesn't sound right. And it's, it, I, I'm sure you've only got good intentions. But... Um, is there any, is, is there another way you could explain it? Is there something particularly about black industry, as you describe it, that is different from white industry? Well, that's and the that problem, would, that would David. Be all right, if you see well, what I mean. Well, 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 David, understand this right here, okay? Other ethnic groups recycle their money in their community, okay? Yeah, but... Uh, that doesn't matter. That doesn't affect what, what you do. You, yeah, can, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. do the right thing no matter what other people are doing. But no, but understand, though is that what I'm saying is, un picture this right here, okay? Mm. Is that 3% of black consumer dollars only go to black businesses, which means is 97% of black consumer dollars is subsidizing everyone else, this community well, and businesses. Is, hang on, hang on hold on. There's a higher proportion of non-blacks to, to blacks in the society. And that's so why... you spend your money on... And that's why what I do is so important is because now because now we're talking about legacy, we're talking about wealth. You can't inherit a job. So even when you have the best intentions and you can't get a job, now your kid can inherit your job no matter how high you, you grow up on the corporate ladder. So the whole thing is is that 
when I talk about, and my philosophy is, is to talk about generational wealth. And how do you do that? Yeah, yeah. By, yeah, black, yeah. by businesses. It's is really, really difficult and interesting. But, yeah, but I, I, well, I, would, I would repackage it. I would say something like the, the black community, the types of businesses and the way they operate has got such a unique and valuable skill base that um, we can't afford. We need to support it so that we don't lose the skills from the market. Because once you lose skills, you can't get them back. You know, a bit like um, stonemasons or very fine you know, artisans. Once the skills are gone, then they're, they're gone. And, and that's the way you could, you could package it. Make it not sound so like an affront to, um, David, to, to David, everyone before, else. Because, before you can package it like that, you have to have the skills. You have to have? You have to have the skills. It's not enough... It's not enough black people with uh, backgrounds of skills in order for us. We, we're building right now. And, so. and something else, and I, I appreciate your call. Something else. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I can't hear you very well. Okay. Otherwise, would, uh, can you okay. make yeah. the call a bit Is that louder? better? Is that better? Uh, they did something I called up previous. They did something. They moved something or really fiddled with something, and it did get a lot louder. Okay. So. Okay. Well, maybe we should move on for this topic because it's obviously a very difficult issue, and I don't know the dynamics. But on, if if you said that to anyone else, now I'm I'm a man of color, so I I understand. I understand. Out of twenty people, there's just one guy who thinks you're you know thinks you're a monkey. You know, just won't be able to get it out of his head. He just can't understand what this person is. You know, some people just don't get race, just like some people don't get language. Like, I grew up in a multicultural language as well. So, like, my mom and dad would just speak a different language sometimes. And I was used to that. But two, a person would sit and say two French girls are talking to each other. They'd assume that those French girls are talking in French about, about him. But that's not the case. But you have to have that unique insight. Now, I, I've got that. But you can't expect everyone else in society to have that unique insight. And, you know, and if I'm, I'm, I'm not on anyone's side, I'm on the side of whatever's right. And I'm just saying that the way that, you, the way that that's come, come across is, uh, is difficult. And I think you're going to have to do it. I think, I think you should think about that. Well, David, this is a gospel this, show. So, yes, um, you know, would, you know what something? You, what would you define as gospel? Is it evangelical? Um, David? Yep. We're glad that you called, and if you'd like to hold, we have to go to a break right now. Wake up, business owners, nonprofits, and professionals. You already know that no one goes anywhere without their mobile device, so why isn't your business with them? Get a mobile app for your business from AppsFor50.com. There's no setup fees or long-term commitment, and it includes a host of features your business can definitely benefit from, all for one low monthly cost. Let's face it, everyone's mobile. Sign up today, and we'll promote your business to 10,000 new local customers for free. Go to AppsFor50.com. That's appsfor 50com Thank you for being a part of Switch Reels Gospel Hour on KCAA. Back to Elisa, your host. Thank you, Gospel World, for waiting. We're here, and um, uh, this is the Switch Reels, <laughs> Switch Reels Gospel <laughs> Show. And we have today in... In studio, Jerry Green from the Black Business Expo, Southern California Black Business Expo. And we have David on the line. Uh, David, I'm, I'm, sure that he's, um, I'm sure he's got best intentions, but maybe you could think of styling that up a bit. Um, gospel, so, I mean, I've been taking a different view on the Bible recently. I've been taking a view of it almost not as a... Um, um, I definitely, you know, like the whole Jesus angle, but I, I think. Well, David, let me just stop angle, you right there because I'm, I personally have accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I understand. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait a minute, thought, wait a minute, you know, wait, maybe, like, wait, 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 David. But this show, <laughs> this is, this show is for everybody. If you believe that, um, if you believe that um, it should be Allah, 
if you believe Yashura, if you believe um, whatever the name is, it's, it's your mind and your heart. We're not here trying to change your mind, but I'm telling you where I stand. Some Kumei. Something. Lisa Kumei, this little girl. Uh, Jesus had gone to uh, heal this little girl who was sick, but um, he was delayed for some reason, and she, she died or, or something. So he, he went to her house, and they, they said, no, nah, don't worry, we're, we're preparing the burial, you know, you're a bit, bit late. And he said, well, hang on a minute, I, I told you that I was coming to heal this girl. And he went, well, yeah, but she's dead. No, no, no. And Jesus went, well, hang on a minute, I told you, which is as good as God telling them, that I will heal that child. And she, he just said, Talitha, little girl, get up. And she did, she rose. So I don't know if it was actually a story of raising her from the dead, but it, that's a, it clearly indicates that God is, is putting there that he's got some sort of will and that it's, it, you know, it, if, if it's, it's, it can be very strong. God is another, all powerful. There's another story where Jesus is crossing the, the, the Sea of Galilee and he's gone to sleep and mm -hmm. there's a really bad storm and his disciples decide to wake him up. And he said, well, I told you not to wake me up. They said, but Jesus, there's a massive storm. They went, but there's, I told you not to wake me up. I told you you'll be fine. And that's where the phrase, ye of little faith. And, but I wouldn't describe it as faith. I'd describe it as, you know, a, a firmness, almost like the Bible is giving you a strong indication there that you, um, you know, that there is, a, there is a, if something's meant to be for you, it, it will happen, even if, even if you're dead, even if you're, um, everything doesn't look right, you can just keep right, going. Right, because and, according and to the gospel... And David, according... You know, that reflects that, doesn't it? Right. And Rather than just the... <clears throat> were you the, listening... The standard sort of. Were you listening in the beginning of the uh, the show? Uh, no, I have to I said, I missed that. When I said that each and every individual has a spirit. So there's the Father, there's the Son, and there's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is within each and, and every one of us. That is the spirit that causes intercessions between us and God. That's why we can't get away with anything. And God is all that, knowing. That's why we what, sorry? We can't get away with anything individually. You know, if you want to do wrong, then God knows. Well, yeah, knows. that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you've got lottery. Okay. You've got lottery tickets in, a, in America, don't you? So each person can go and buy a lottery ticket, and it can get registered instantly from the minute they press the button, registered, and then printed out in a second to a massive, huge network, <laughs> and that's something that man can make. Now, if God can't keep track of all of us, if they can keep track of all those lottery tickets, then, yeah, so, you mean, scientifically, you can say that. Also, cognitively, each one of us has in our uh, brains, um, you, know, a, you know, a cognitive thought, and this is, this is so profound that the people that are beginning to investigate it can't replicate it. It's almost like it's a separate dimension, and so, if it is a separate dimension, that would mean all of our brains are linked um, with a thought matrix that is, is um, uh, what, what basically means we're all connected in, in our thoughts. Not, not literally, but there is a, somewhere we go to get our thoughts. And so, David, do you believe that there mind. is a higher, higher a power than yourself? Yeah, and, but also in the Bible, doesn't it say we were made in God's image, but also that we were made by a, a type of... But maybe it doesn't mean in physical image. Doesn't God... God is apparently is able to think. So, and we're able to think, and nothing else in the entire world is able to think. I mean, you, you, you know, if you were to think of a, a picture of an elephant, you, you know what I mean, but each one of us will create a, a separate image. So each one of us has managed to create different things now when I've said that but at the same time we can both have the same thoughts so thought is, is you know is really really profound and that would fit with the Bible hey David so, what's, mean, your, you what's your major? A, a David, what's your major David what's your major what's your what's your you know what's your major David may I, I ask may I ask what your major is my major your major in school my ma uh, I, uh, I've got two two or three degrees I think I've got a I'm 30 years old. Um, my, I did a, a BA in accounting and finance with, with honors. I did an MSc in um, financial economics. That was just a one-year degree. And then I did a mathematics degree. But, and I never fully finished it, but I, ne I didn't fail. I just did the first year, 
and then I stopped because I was doing some teaching. So I've, had, I've got like quite a broad base of um, understanding there from different viewpoints, particularly the difference between economics and business, but also the difference between mathematics and the different types of math. And mm-hmm. in a lot of that, you do all types of reasoning, which you wouldn't think would, you would do, like, um, you know, like what a circular argument was, what a proof by contraproof was, what, how things converge. And so you end up sort of really being able to explain things um, from different viewpoints, but factually, you're not, you're not sort of, that's what I think. I mean, that's what everyone thinks in that field, because that's the thinking on that. So that's what I, that's what so, I liked about <clears throat> my education. David, let me ask you do. another question. Are you looking mm-hmm. at us or are you listening to us? Oh, I'm not looking at you. Why? Is there a way? Of, oh, there is, isn't there? Uh, yeah, you can. Know. You can use stream. I can't see you. Uh, you can use stream. KCAA TV. Mm-hmm. And the left On hand, application. the upper left hand corner, there is. Um, it says use stream. It'll take about maybe four or five minutes. Radio to Radio presenters download. always put a really nice picture of themselves. You've got a nice picture there. Oh, hello. Oh, so sorry. You look. You look like a really nice man. <laughs> Who's that? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No. I. I, under, I understand what you're. What you're saying there. But um. Yeah. I would definitely, from the business angle, there. You know, people are just willing to hate, hate, and hate, hate again, and hate, hate again. And we're you not, can't remember who was aggrieved in the first place. We're, we're not here and, to uh, hate. I wanted like, you to. Um, I wanted you to see us so that. You can draw your conclusions and your questions while oh, you're, while you're actually viewing. Um, yeah, while you're actually viewing us now. And this station is not about being politically incorrect or correct. It's just sharing one to another, you know, and loving. Yeah, thy and also I feel neighbor. like you're um, you're celebrating. Um, I mean, this is an appropriate platform for discussion, isn't it? I mean, um, it's not like a uh, we're, 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 you know, this is an open phone line. You're discussing things. I'm discussing things. And I like it. But also I like every now and then being able to really, because it's difficult to sort of transfer thought. And I like every now and then really beginning to sort of think together. I think, I think that's, that's a rare, that's a rare thing. I think um, in, a, in, like, in, in our lives, in our conversations, you know, you can converse with your family. That's one type of talking. You can converse with your friends. That's a, that's a different type of talking. You can converse with your colleagues, that's another one. You can converse with um, strangers. And then there's conversing with, with people like in a, in a team sport, if you know what I mean, if you've ever played sports, a team sport or some sort of club or something, it, it, that's another type of talking. You're linked by a, a common love of something that's not, you know, that's not even physical. Even Well, it is physical, but it's not, you know, you know it's a different kind of <coughs> link. And I think this... Sorry, you know, David, we're going to have things to... On, on a radio on our David, hold day. that hold that thought, and Jerry will be back to give you some of his final thoughts. We have to go Please. to break right now. Thank you, David. Wake up, business owners, nonprofits, and professionals. You already know that no one goes anywhere without their mobile device, so why isn't your business with them? Get a mobile app for your business from appsfor50.com. There's no setup fees or long-term commitment, and it includes a host of features your business can definitely benefit from, all for one low monthly cost. Let's face it, everyone's mobile. Sign up today, and we'll promote your business to 10,000 new local customers for free. Go to appsfor50.com. That's A-P-P-S-F-O-R-5-0.com. KCAA 1050 AM, 106.5 FM, and your host, Elisa, bring you Switch Reels Gospel Hour. Thank you for tuning in. What nice name. Hi, David. Are you with us? Hello, yeah. Is your name Elisa? What a nice name. Thank you, David. I, I, I must say, I, I do apologize. I wasn't able to see you all the show, but also um, it's got a really bad time delay, so I don't think you're saying anything. So I'm just keeping on saying stuff. But actually, it's because of massive delay. That's why. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay, yeah, David. Yeah, so I'm just but we're running out of time here. right now. I wanted, um, maybe you wanted to um, 
uh, address uh, Jerry with well, I uh, think I think from some another more angle, I think you could think, you know, you're discussing the gospel and all that, but it's very easy to read from scripture and from a platform. But if someone comes up and does something, it's actually how we judge people in a university. So you've got a difficult caller or someone who's asking questions or asking you to explain yourself, which is which is what I've been doing actually. I I, I want to hear the reasons behind what you're what you're saying, how how your thinking is, because not only do I not know, but also I, I'd like to see if you've based it on anything sort of real. So uh, when you when you are able to do that, and when you're used, to, you know, it shows to everyone else actually this person, even though uh, this situation happened, they maintained a sort of they maintain themselves, and actually that would be, you know, that would be very representative, and that's well, why I like. Um, that's why I like Christianity, and I'm I'm going to stick with it uh, in terms of the leanings because I I find well, David. Christians. I know it sounds bad, but Christians always got a new car, always got nice families, and that's because well anyway. But that's that's because they they know what they stand for. That's it right. Might not be the, that's right. You know, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's right, David. Um, and the gospel is in my heart. I mean, from a child, I've always been just the way I am. I um I have a nonprofit, I feed children, I I do everything that includes other people. I'm not interested in doing anything in my life that just benefits me, but I find more yeah, joy. Yeah, uh, not materialistic. Also That's there's correct. a joy from it, isn't it? Joy. That's correct. And um as far as black, white, Asian, Spanish, I don't have um a difference, but I do know that um, there's a lot of help that's needed within the black community. And the only way that we're going to do something is to do something. So not talk about it, but just be about it. And there shouldn't be any indifferences about uh, whether an Asian group gets together and they want to do something for their community opposed to a black well, community. I, I lived with... Um Three. Uh, I was a student, so I I got a student house. Um, but it was like, uh, it was it's like half. Well, not a, like a one, three, four weeks into the term. So I couldn't really pick, and I didn't have much time to, to pick. So I ended up staying in this student house for an entire year with two guys from Ghana and Gambia. No, two guys from Gambia and one guy from Ghana. And uh, th- these these were black men, you know, from Africa, who right. uh, just happened to migrate to England, you know, for work purposes. And um, it was, you know, it was great. Um, I um, I love staying with those guys. And it's, uh, where I live, Exeter, must have maybe, I mean, I'm, I'm one of the darkest skinned guys going around, and I'm, quite, I'm really light skinned, um, you know, because I'm a mixed race. And so living with those guys was a real eye opener. So I, it's not only I identify with it, but I'm actually, you know, I, I had to brush past black guys every day, you know, live with them. And, David, you know, I'm... I'm it uh, desensitized me to it. You can know, you hear I me, think. David? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, we're going to have to go, but we're here every Saturday. We'll be here next Saturday at 6 o'clock if you'd like to tune in. Sorry, uh, Jerry, uh, Jerry will not be okay. here. Um, uh, Jerry will not be here on Saturday. Um, I'm sure that he's coming to visit the studio once again, but... It won't be Saturday, right? That's right. Yeah. You're a big bloke, mate. You really are. You're a really big bloke. <laughs> like in terms of arms. <laughs> Don't mess around with Jerry. <laughs> yeah, you I, know. Used to bo- I boxed for two years, well, between like 23, 24. Well, we're really going to uh, have to go now, David, but I was just telling you, we, ha- we only have two minutes. Okay. So, um, right. Uh, it's, been, it's been my pleasure. Um, thank you. Sorry thank to, you. Sorry to, uh, tell it. That's sorry okay. To tell you it, were the show. I'm neutral, I'm neutral, so I can say it. <laughs> David, you were the show today. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Thank you. We it's appreciate the you. It's the delay. I think you're not saying anything, so I'll just carry on saying stuff. It's really we, quite bad. We appreciate you anyway. And you're so mild-mannered. Uh, I'm, you, I'm talking over you again. You're so mild-mannered and your colleagues there. Okay, well, thank you, David, for... Can he come join- in next week? <laughs> <laughs> okay, just stay tuned. Bye-bye. Okay, Gospel World, we have one minute left. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Jerry, you have any last? We have one minute. Yeah, I would just say anyone want information on the Southern California Black Business Expo on tour, go to our website, 
BBE.com, which stands for Southern California Black Business Expo. We'll start the tour January 23rd and go all the way through the end of the year, going to different cities every month throughout Southern California, trying to increase sales from black business to black business and also from black business to black consumers. Well, Gospel World, until next Saturday, 6 o'clock, Switch Reels Gospel Hour. Your host, Elisa. Have a wonderful, wonderful next week. Go to church on Sunday. Bye-bye. This is 1050 AM KCAA Loma Linda and 106.5 FM Yukaipa. MySellMakeOffer.com is our New Year's gift to you. Circle this date, Friday, January 15th. You're invited to start the new year off right with a subscription to BuySellMakeOffer.com. Some other selling sites can be sketchy, and even others will charge you a fee on every item you list. But with BuySellMakeOffer.com, you can sell your washer, dryer, cars, or even your home with no per item fees. And you can use Skype, make a video, you can actually see the person you're buying from, or they can see you, all to better sell your product. Wouldn't you like a feeling of security when you buy or sell? That's why we call it BuySellMakeOffer.com. And you don't have to wait until January 15th to find out what the buzz is all about. Go right now to BuySellMakeOffer.com and type in your email address so you'll know exactly when the fun will begin. The first 30 days are on us. And then it's as little as $7.95 per month to sell up to 50 items. Join the revolution in online selling with BuySellMakeOffer.com.